I'm Ashley Davidson. I teach English as a second language as well as yoga. I am Bryson Dunn. I am a tour guide and sales representative at Discover Canada Tours. I basically get paid to do fun activities. Yeah, it doesn't feel like work at all. I've always been curious. Even in my own backyard, there's so many places to go, but I don't know about them. Now, I want to go to the places that I want to see, and I want the most cool and interesting people from those places to show me around. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good to go? We are headed to the desert region of Canada. Let's see if we make it out alive. Yay! into the hotel and we're going to go to a little community called Naramata, a little village at the side of Okanagan Lake and we're hoping to find some hippies. It's hippie hunting season. So are you guys from here? Yeah. yeah. Can I try it out? Oh yeah, go for it, yeah. I'm always willing to meet new people and talk to new people. It's the best way to learn and live your life. Where do you live? I was living in this woman's house, growing dope in her shed. She thought she owned me. She begged me for sex. You loved it. I hated it, man. Really? She was going to the neighbors for a glass of wine. I watched her walk by. 15 minutes. I took everything I could, and I fucking launched I out the driveway. I don't really like her anymore. I can't even remember her name. <laughs> Take it away, man. Yeah, I cried. It's interesting that Quebecois travels all the way from the east to here. I'm at the beach every day in the summer at 12 in the afternoon. If I am grumpy one day or something, I just look where I work and I say, well, that's a really nice office. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, man. Why did you come here? I didn't know where I was going. I've seen something on the internet about you can go in the valley and just go out and pick fruit and make cash money. So uh, I had six bucks in my pocket. I pack up two plastic bags. It's getting dark. No one's picking me up. Out of the blue, there's that minivan that pulled out. I opened the door. It's a young girl, like 17 years old. She goes, I just stole my parents' car and their credit card. <laughs> Everybody that we've met from this area has been super friendly and always wanting to talk, tell us about their lives. We are at the Penticton Market that happens every Saturday. My name's Ben. I'm a juggler, among other things, I guess. We're all other things too, but you gotta call yourself something, I guess, sometimes. That's good, man. That's cool. Just kind of started with a few guys in Australia, and then me and a buddy in Nelson started to pick it up. Super fun. All you need is a basketball and a stick, and it's all about balance. I love the morning. I'm gonna go for a run. Bryson, are you gonna come? Your like happy attitude is really killing my morning. You're killing my happy. morning, Let's Go back to bed. And I hate mornings. Oh, I feel haggard. One of the main reasons we came to Penticton is to visit my buddy Tommy and uh, his friends here in Penticton. Now we're about to conquer the Skaha Caverns. I did this myself a couple years ago with these guys, and I don't remember too much except for it was sketchy and dangerous. Ladies and gents, are ready for this? Mom, if I don't come out alive, love you. Woo! Stoke on. That's the caves down there. Oh my god. So that's where we're going, Tommy? Yeah, we're gonna go down here. So you're gonna slither up here, bring your head probably up another foot. Okay. You're gonna drop your feet down, then you're on this shield. Oh, yeah, that's good. I'm really not scared to be curious and to find out things. Oh. <laughs> Local legend has it. There's a man, half half bear, half man, or just resembles a bear because he's been in here so long. Attacks locals. I know one guy who actually never seen him again, and we kind of assume that's what happened. And someone drew a picture, I'm pretty sure they've seen it. 
Yeah. I'm scared. Let's get out of here, man. Yeah, let's go. This is the last bit of the cave here. It's pretty tight. Don't stress yourself out when you're going through. If you start reading really fast or something, you kind of lock yourself in there. I don't know if I can fit that way. Okay. I kind of don't know what to do with my leg right now. All right, straddle. Straddling. Uh, awkward. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's coming. It's coming through. Uh, I'm alive. I've made it. I have survived. I can breathe again. That was great. High fives high all high. around. Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo. So what's next? Jumping off some. Let's go cliffs. jump off some cliffs. Let's go, let's jump, right? Yeah, we'll come get you, Tommy. Just sit right, sit four, right there. Four, yeah. Honda. If we're not back in five, just keep waiting. You have to kind of go through someone's property and then around the corner and over a fence, and there's supposed to be these cliff jumps. Let's see if we're right. Yeah, this is definitely the place. <laughs> Holy mother. We've done so much stuff. I love the Okanagan, but the biggest part about this trip for me is the people we hung out with here. The characters we met. Super interesting people at the market, the guy juggling. The Quebecois that we met in Naramata. My buddy Tommy, Ben, ben and James. James. Super nice guys. They were teaching us stuff. Yeah, that's what it's all about. So let's finish this off. And jump off. Jumping in the water.